on the bike you really, really want to ride. When I purchased my Harley back in uh, 2020, it absolutely was the bike I wanted. It was at the price, well, I ain't going to say it was at the price I wanted, but it was the bike I wanted. So, I purchased it. You guys know it. You've seen it. 2019 Harley Road King. Done a lot to it as far as how it looks visually, some exhaust, things like that. You guys know this. And I'll always keep this Harley. I, bit, I made a big mistake. My first Harley I ever owned, we did a video on it not so long ago. I got rid of it, and that was a big mistake, and I regret it to this day. So I will not get rid of this Harley. It just will not happen. This is going to be with me until it becomes a yard ornament, if that becomes the case. But what I would really like to have, and did a video on this too, is a Road Glide Special. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. N not a new one. Because we're looking at, you know, just for the chrome red paint on a Road Glide Special, you're looking at $28,000 starting now. Not counting if you go to black, goes up another thousand, I think, a couple thousand, and if you go up to uh, blue gray, I mean, whatever. I mean, it just keeps going up and up and up. And there's just no way a guy like me, you know, I'm, you know I'll be 55 this year, you know, I'm retired, uh, there's no way I can afford that price. And it's just getting to the point, and I know I've made videos about it before, but Harley is just getting ridiculous on their prices. It's getting to where their core customer like me, we can't afford their motorcycles anymore. Now, I was looking around on the internet, and as you guys know, I have a Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad. And I was comparing the Harley... Uh, Road Glide Special to their Kawasaki Vulcan. Now, Kawasaki has the same thing. You got the fairing, you got the touring package, the whole nine yards, ABS, all that. And they're starting out at $18,599. And I mean, they're great bikes. It, you have to admit it. I don't care how hardcore Harley you are. You have to admit that they lag in technology. What has changed on the 2023 models? The paint. Nothing really else that I've seen. Everything else is the same. But if you look at Kawasaki, uh, just one. Uh, the, you know, there's Yamaha and all those, and, and, and their technology is better too. And Honda. So if you look at Kawasaki, and you look at Harley, let's be honest. I think there's better technology in the Kawasaki Vulcan. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not bashing Harley to the point where I'm bashing it as a company. What I'm bashing it as, they're dealerships. And I know every dealership has markup. But you have a thing called MSRP. And if you go into a Harley dealership, most of them, you're going to pay a 30% markup. So, by the time you have your un your uncrating fees, your setup fees, and all these fees for a Road Glide Special, you're going to end up paying at least $35,000. At least. Whereas I can go get a Kawasaki Vulcan, you know, same thing, fairing, stereo, actually more technology. Probably for 22, 23. That's a big difference. And you're getting more technology with the Vulcan than you are with the with the Harley. Now, 
I understand some people ride Harleys just because it is a Harley. And I respect that. If that's what you want to do, I respect that. Trust me. I love my Harley. I've said it a million times on this channel. I love my Harley. But it's going to come to a point at some point. <laughs> if that makes any sense. That Harley is just getting to the point where they're they're just they're pricing themselves out. Now, I know dealerships can mark up their prices. I get that. And I understand that. But Harley needs to say, hey, now wait a minute. You're marking that price, that bike up too much. Harley might need to jump in and say something. If they can. I don't know if they can. But they might need to jump in and say something to, to, to the dealer. Excuse me. That, hey, this is too much. You're, you know, you're, you're marking the bike up too much. Like I said, I'm retired. You guys know that. I'll be 55 this year. I doubt that I'll ever, ever be able to afford another new motorcycle. I think this one, when I bought it back in 2020, is going to be my last new motorcycle. Unless, unless I decide to get a brand new Vulcan. Kawasaki Vulcan. Because there's such a big difference in price... And there's a big difference in technology because the jack bikes, the metric bikes, have better technology than the Harley does. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not real big on, you know, upgrades. You guys know that. I mean, what I have here, my Harley, is it works for me. It's perfect. My stereo. I don't have a lot of gauges and a lot of, you know, digital or anything like that. And I don't need that. I like this Harley for what it is, but I do like the Road Glide too, Road Glide Special, but there's no way, there's no way I can walk into a dealership and pay 35 and beyond for a Road Glide Special. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I know many, many, many people cannot do that. Especially now, where we have so much inflation, everything's so high, everything, you know, costs so much, you know, it, just put the two bikes together, put a Road Glide Special and a Kawasaki Vulcan side by side, and let's do an honest comparison. I'd like to be able to really do that, because I think the quality in the Jap bike, the metric bike, the Kawasaki Vulcan, and the Road Glide Special is probably about the same, if not better, for the Kawasaki Vulcan with more technology. And like I said before, if you're riding a Harley just because of the brand, just because of the name, that's fine. I have no issue with that. I like Harley too. I love Harley. But... I don't know we could beat this to death and we could hammer it down into the ground as much as we want, but the dealerships are hurting Harley's company. 30% markup, I've heard people talk about 30% markup. No, that's ridiculous. On That's not even counting freight fees, setup fees, just all these fees. Next thing you know, that $28,000 bike is $35,000. Not to mention the new limited road glide they have out in 2023 at, what was it, 52000 up, anywhere up from 52000 up to 60000 Oh, huh, holy, no way. No way. I hate to say this, but if there ever comes a point where I'm going to buy a new motorcycle, which is probably not going to happen, but if I do, brand new, I've had to choose the Kawasaki Vulcan. I love Kawasaki's. Hondas are a good bike too, but I'm I'm bigger on Kawasaki. Um, I would have to buy that. I mean, their 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 colors ain't the greatest, but you know what? The technology, the pricing. I mean, they're very comparable. If like I said, if not. The metric bikes are, or have better technology than the Harley does.
So I just don't understand the dealerships. Uh, you know, I did a video on dealerships before, and I've had no, I haven't had the greatest success at dealerships. I mean, the, they they I don't know Harley, Harley dealerships can be a bad experience, especially especially now I haven't experienced this myself, but especially walking in and spending thirty percent markup on a new Harley. Yeah, like I said, I will have to just stay with used. I got well, I don't plan on this Harley going anywhere ever. So I will ride, like I said, this Harley until it becomes a yard on. It, it, that's what I'll do. And hopefully it won't. Hopefully this thing will, will last me the rest of my life. And with proper maintenance and things like that, I'm sure it will. But like I said, if I ever did, but it's very unlikely, buy a new motorcycle a new one, it would probably be a Kawasaki Falcon. That's probably what it would be. Because there's such a big price difference and I think the technology and the, and the metric bikes are better. I don't think Harley has really done enough when it comes to technology. And it's really hurting. It, it, the dealerships, I believe, are really hurting Harley. And that's unfortunate. And I've seen other YouTube videos about it and it's just... I said, well, you know what, and I'm looking at prices in there, and I, you know, I'm just sitting there looking through stuff, and I'm like, wow, this is a big difference, you know, there's, what's going on here? MSRP, manu Manufacturers Suggested Retail Price, and you're going to mark it up 30%, and then add on uncrating, setup, and all that at four or $500, or whatever, $1,000, man, no way, no way. No way. No way, I, no way I'm going to pay that. And don't get me wrong. I know that they charge setup, uncrating, and all that. And uh, Kawasaki does. I get that. And, and their dealerships. But you're getting the bike for eighteen five compared to starting at twenty seven, twenty eight thousand 28000 at Harley. Harley really has to do something about that. I think Harley as a company needs to set, step into their dealerships and say, look, you can't be charging 30% over, over manu manufacturer's suggested retail price. You, you just can't do that. You're hurting the company. And I know Harley has the ability to do that. They can go and say, hey, now, wait a minute now. You know, you're gouging people. You got to stop. But no, by no means am I bashing Harley as a company. But they have to do something about their dealerships and how much they're charging. How much they're marking up these bikes. Because, I mean, it's it's going to hurt them. And we've talked about this on another video that, you know, is Harley going to be around in 10 years? You know, I sat and was thinking about that. And I think, yeah, they'll be around in 10 years. I don't think they'll ever go away completely. Harley might hurt themselves. They might have, you know, dips and things like that. But... Will they go away completely as a company? No. Do I see somebody else, a foreign entity, owning Harley? At some point, yeah, I do. I do. I really do. Because I hate to say this, and I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this, I'm sure, but I think they could take the Harley and take it to a next level that Harley hasn't done with technology and things of that nature. Because I don't believe Harley's ever going to do that. And maybe they think they're, they're, they're doing that to stay in touch with their customer. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, not a super long video, but I, I just had to get out here and, and tell you something about, you know, 30% markup? This is what I've seen people talking about going into dealerships. 30% markup. In an economy that sucks, inflation's high, everything you buy is going through the roof, and you want to put a 30% markup on a bike that's already overpriced, in my opinion? Now look, if you pay it, and you want to go out and buy a Harley, and you want to pay that price, you know, that's you, and I understand it, and do what's best for you, and do you, and I, I, I respect you. This is just my opinion. Anything I talk about on this channel, it's just my opinion. 
my opinion is, no way. And it's unfortunate. I'll probably eventually own a Road Glide Special. I'll print, I'll eventually own one, but it won't. It, it definitely won't be a new one, and it'll probably come from a private sale because I just I can't afford that markup. There's just no way. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you happen through the videos and you see our videos and you watch it, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. But the likes really, really help the channel. And we've had some dips going on in the channel and ups and downs on views. And uh, some uh, videos are like way up the top. Some videos are way I don't know what's going on with YouTube right now. But help us out. Hit that like button. Make a comment. I definitely, you guys know I like going back and forth with you. And subscribe. If you're watching, like I said, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I know I tell you guys all the time. I'm going to put this video out this day and this video out this day. But like I said, I could be sitting in the house and thinking something and I'm going to come out here and I'm going to put up a video. So if you want to be notified, smash that notification bell. And you'll get notified when I put up a video. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Be safe out there, stay warm, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care now.